Hello and welcome to the Euros Daily Preview Show here on Live Score. And Dean, today we found out the outcomes of Groups B and C. And we'll start with North Macedonia against the Netherlands. Netherlands looking to maintain their perfect record, finish the group in style, scored five in two games, and they'll want to push on here. It does, Dean. Yeah, really entertaining team at this tournament, uh, the Netherlands. And I don't think we're going to see too many changes by the sound of things. I mean, they could rotate a lot more if they want to. I think they just want to find some consistency and stick with the core of a squad. Um, I do think we'll see a couple of changes though, and there's talk of Gravenberch and Daniel Marlon coming in for this lineup. I really like that. I, I really want to see more of these guys, especially from the start. And I think that's what the Netherlands need to do right now. You know, I've, I've got concerns about them because I think they're flaky, right? I kind of compare them to how I've looked at Atletico Madrid all season though. And I spent the entire season saying, oh, I'm not sure about this Atletico team, I'm not sure. And they won the league. So maybe that's a good sign for Holland here. Um, but yeah, look, North Macedonia tipped by every hipster and his brother to, to go far in this tournament, including you. Um, they're out. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite fair. <laughs> far in this tournament is, uh, is probably not quite right. Well, you thought they'd get further than the second group game and they're out after two group games. That's true. Um, they did all right, but they're out. So what are they playing for here? You know, Holland chance here to get nine points out of nine. Like that's a statement and that's what they want to send out right now. They just want that consistency to show that they can go far in this tournament. Yeah. I mean, the other group in the other game in this group is Ukraine versus Austria and both teams here are on three points and it's a straight shootout basically for yeah. second spot. And it should theoretically be incredibly exciting, right? We spoke last week about Ukraine needed to adopt to play against wing backs and they did so to a point in the win over North Macedonia, but this will be a sterner test against Lina, Alaba and Co. Because this, you know, this team, we're still yet to see them, see really if they can make that kind of wide defence work. Yeah, exactly that. I, like, I, I do quite like Ukraine, I've got to say, and I, I do still fancy them in this game. They were game. my actual dark horse. Well, they actually, yeah. you're, you're a dark horse. Okay, you've changed your mind there again, have you? Um, okay, so look, yeah, Ukraine, I, I really like them. Um, but Austria, they've, they've got that X factor of like having a few star players that seem to step up just when they need them. Um, and Alaba can obviously decide he's going to play any position on the pitch at any time, which is really handy. So, yeah, it'll be a good game. We'll go over to Group C then. Two games, Russia versus Denmark and Finland versus Belgium. It's exciting here in Group C as everyone's still in with a shot of qualification. Finland have the toughest task on paper. They play Belgium. But if Denmark were to beat Russia and Belgium beat Finland as expected, the Danes would, if my numbers are correct, if they're correct, then go through on goal difference. It would be a three-way tie on the points <laughs> and head-to-head. -head. It goes back to goal difference and goals scored. And obviously, like we were watching in the in the Italy game, we were watching the, the scores and, and seeing what those goal differences are going to mean. This is going to be another case of keeping an eye on the goal differences. Yeah, totally. I think Denmark's still everybody's like second team right now. They want to see the Danes get through. It's still a big ask, though, right? Um, for me in this group, like Belgium are just unstop not unstoppable, but like they've got that extra factor that we didn't see, for example, with England. And f when things aren't going well, like what could you do to turn it on here? And they do, they find that extra factor. And it sounds like for Belgium in this, in this round of games that uh, De Bruyne and Eden Hazard are going to be coming in from the start. That's not bad, is it? Third group game, you're already pretty comfortable when you're bringing those two in for their first starts, maybe even rest Lukaku. So we'll see what happens there. But um, who are you fancying? What do you, who do you think actually gets out of this group? I think Denmark get out. I think Denmark go to Russia and, and, win, and win. Yeah, well, I mean, Russia aren't very convincing, are they? They've got a very strange style of play, which I couldn't actually tell you what it is. It's, um, it, it's, it's a little bit agriculture, yeah. I think is probably the, the, the nicest way of putting <laughs> it. Right, that's our things to watch today at the Euros. But we'll be back tomorrow here on Live School.